This is Sin 90.7. Laura here. Good morning to all our listeners and a big welcome to Dominique Combastica, a member of the extensive new Academic Street team. Dominique, your job title is Project Officer of Retail Leasing. Tell us more about the work you've been doing. I actually began as a short-term consultant. I was only meant to be here for a couple of months, but NAS was too exciting of a project for me to walk away from. I've been primarily working on the implementation of the Retail Activation District, or RAD, as we like to call it. We do love our acronyms, don't we? (laughs) Haha. Yes, but it fits so well. RAD is quintessentially a microcopy of the local Melbourne culture set into our university. My job has been researching and planning how that is going to look, feel, touch and taste. There are a lot of stakeholders involved, not just students and staff, but all Melbournians who will use this space, in addition to the retailers who will be filling the shops. So wait, Dominique, you're telling me that essentially a part of the NAS precinct is going to be a shopping centre? Please, please tell us more. Yes, (laughs) RAD will be made up of a variety of different retail and food stores. A lot of our retail retail stores are still being kept under wraps, but eatery eatery will include stores like Boost Juice, Street and Real Foods. The rest is a surprise worth waiting for. What opportunities will RAD give to students? Part-time or casual employment for current students will certainly be available. I've heard some current students complain that their RMIT experience will be over by the time NAS is completed. But the new precinct isn't just for students. We looked at the retail aspect as a point of engagement. It's an open door to the RMIT world for any Melbourneian. We are standing on the Swanston Street rooftop terrace shouting, we are a CBD community member. NAS will not only allow us to interact and engage with the rest of the city, but it will also allow the rest of the city to interact and engage with us. The other incredibly innovative and exciting aspect of RAD is the four pop-up pods. They are short-term activity areas to be used by anyone, student staff, outside industry worker or just someone from the community. It's a very unique opportunity for people to come in and launch a business idea in a space that is utilised by thousands of people daily. Your passion for this project is so easy to hear in your voice, Dominique, and you have obviously been putting in some hard yards, which is why you've been commended in the NAS Heroes campaign for exhibiting agility, collaboration and adaptability in spite of the challenges that arose. For our listeners, you may have seen some of the Heroes posters plastered around the uni. But Dominique, what does the accolade mean to you? It's an absolute honour. I think universities have a responsibility to be groundbreaking and RMIT have gone above and beyond with NAS. So although I'm being applauded, the whole project has been an incredible experience for me. Our executive director demanded strategies that were experimental. He wanted to see something he'd never ever seen before. NAS has undeniably achieved that and I'm so proud to have contributed. We were brave with our ideas, but we had RMIT backing us and supporting us, and these wacky and wild ideas have come to life. Of course, there were challenges and difficulties, but everyone involved endured and persevered, so even though only 16 of us are being recognised, I truly believe the NAS project as a collective is heroic. I'm really looking forward to celebrating the resilience of all staff at the Heroes event in a few weeks, though. Okay, one last question. What is one word you think best describes the new academic street complex? revolutionary. Thanks for your time today, Dominique. You're definitely a hero in my eyes, simply for making it possible for me to shop to my heart's content without leaving the uni campus. Congratulations again. Thanks.